I've collected the date from the documents. Could you write a report? Sure. It's been a bit tough since I started working at this company. But I'm spending my days getting a lot of inspiration and influence here. One day, when I'm on a break at work, my smartphone rings. Hey, Sho. How have you been? Oh, hey, buddy. Not too bad. Hiroto Amamiya is one of my friends from college. We keep each other motivated at work and hang out in private life. I say we're best friends. She works at the Japanese branch of a multinational enterprise named Homizon. We get in touch once in a while despite our busy schedules. I have good news for you. I'm going to a singles party. You're coming with me. What? The party is the day after tomorrow, but we need one more man. I want you to come if it's not any trouble for you. You've never been out with a girl ever since you changed jobs. Um... Well, he's got a point. I've been single for years. I didn't even try to get a girlfriend. Okay, yeah, sure. Where should we meet up? Thanks, pal. I'll let you know the details later today. My best friend worries about me being single. I have no reason to say no. And I know Hiroto isn't the type of person who gets hammered at parties and causes others trouble. It'll be fun if he's there for me anyway. Hey, did I make you wait? Hey, no, don't worry. I meet up with him at the restaurant he told me about the other day. Hiroto told me that it'd be three men and three girls. Oh, my body stunts as soon as I look at one of the girls. Oh, is everyone finally here? I can't wait anymore. The girl is one of my high school classmates. Her name is Banko Sabasa. She was friendly, energetic, and was part of the flashy in crowd. It's a good thing, but her behavior wasn't good. Oh, show. You're reading a book that looks so difficult? If you want to suck up to the teachers, you should read that in front of them. I'm... I know, I know. You're doing this because you're bad at everything except for studying. I'm sorry, I can't help but say whatever I want. It's my habit, but I'm telling you this for you. She was one of those people who think that honesty makes feel everyone great anytime. She would snark at anyone who seemed introverted and anyone with something rare on. She was nice to ones who had many friends, so there were two groups of students who liked her and hated her. And they would never agree with each other. But I think there was a good number of introverts who would pay to see Banco fall over herself. Actually, if I had to see every one of my classmates, she'd be the last one who'd I'd visit, and I'm sure I'd tap dance on her face with soccer cleats on. She's... Yeah, I know what you mean. We introduce ourselves to each other. I'm worried she'll ruin the party. But to my surprise, she's acting like a normal person. I thought she'd snark at us, but she's just being nice. Maybe she changed after she started working. Well, that's good. The party is fun and relaxing. Maybe I was paranoid. Um, your glass is empty. You want a refill? Oh yeah, I'll have another beer. Okay. This plain-looking girl is Sarah Mizuki. As you just saw, she's conscious of others. I'm sure she leaves a great first impression to everyone. It didn't take me a minute to find out that she's smart too. She's capable of talking about social issues. Plus, she loves subcultures too. I'd pay for a chat with her. Oh yeah, I love that movie too. Do you remember this scene? Wow, wow. You two seem into each other. Sho, remember me? It's been a long time. She didn't say anything when I introduced myself, but she remembers me after all. You still look unsociable. Look at you, wearing a suit like a grown-up. So funny. Sarah, I can't believe you're speaking with them. Are you drunk? Hey, you're... You hardly speak your mind at work, too. Well, no wonder you two hit it off. Banko, stop. Sho was such a boring person back in high school, too. He would never hang out with anyone. You know, Sarah, I'm doing this for you. I'm trying to help you get a boyfriend. You should thank me. You forced me to come here. Okay, she's never changed a bit. 
So, I was kind to everyone including geeks like Sho. I would talk to them quite often. You know, the whole school cast thing is so stupid. There's no such thing as social class. By the way, I think you had a crush on me back then. You did, didn't you? Well, <laughs> no, not at all. Don't be shy. I was dating the cutest boy at school, so you gave up on me, right? You know guys prefer girls like me after all. Like, girls who have sharp tongues. Banco becomes very talkative as soon as she started bragging about how popular she was back in high school. Everyone's lips are twisted in disgust. I can't stay here anymore. I leave the table and walk fast to the bathroom. I can't believe that her personality has never changed. A little while later, the party ends than we planned because everyone, except for Banco, realized that they didn't have to waste their time. Banco seems unsatisfied. It's so boring. What a party. I'm sorry. She made you feel uncomfortable. It's okay. Sarah and I take the same route partway home. Thanks for walking me. No worries. Um... Yeah? Do you mind exchanging phone numbers with me? That'd be great if we could hang out someday. <laughs> I was gonna ask you for your phone number. Really? I'm glad to hear that. I'm so happy that it takes me three tries to take out of my cell phone out of my pocket. Several days later. Maybe I came here too early. Today, I'm going on a date with Sarah for the first time. We had a good time speaking together at the party, but it ended earlier because of Banco, so we decided to meet up again. I'm nervous. Sorry for the wait. It's okay, I just arrived. I lost track of time figuring out what to wear. Sarah? She looks very different from herself at the party. I turn around to see Sarah, dressed up from head to toe. You look great today. Very different from last time. I make myself look plain at work because I don't want any special treatment. But I show my true self to people who I can trust. Only in private time, though. Oh, okay. Glad to hear that. Maybe we are somewhat similar. After we watch a movie in the theater, we enjoy lunch together while talking about the movie. She tells me that she spent her school life reading books in a corner of the classroom, like a statue. However, Guy suddenly started hitting on her after she got a job and quit wearing glasses. And she doesn't like people who judge others based on their appearance. That's another reason why she doesn't look good unless she wants to. Sarah takes out her wallet as we walk out of the restaurant. The food was really great. Thanks. How much do I owe you? It's okay. It's on me. Oh, come on. I know it was expensive. Let me pay too. At least some of it. She seems to believe that I'm gonna miss being able to afford food. I guess I should tell her a bit more about myself so that she won't feel guilty. You decided to show me your true self. It wasn't easy for you, I guess. Let me show you my true self too. What do you mean? At the party, I told you I worked in the customer service industry, but I work at Homeguru. Really? That Homeguru? The company is a worldly famous multinational enterprise that focuses on results, not time. I've been assigned to many big projects, so my annual income has one more zero than the incomes of guys my age. When a year passed after I started working at Homeguru, people started trying to become close to me so that they could take advantage of my income. They were never interested in my appearance or personality. It made me shaken up and prevented me from trying to get a girlfriend. I started lying about my job when I met new people. So, just a few people, my family and close friends like Hiroto know where I work. That's why you didn't tell us about your company. Yeah, but I thought I could tell you. So, I think we're kind of similar. <laughs> yeah. Now that we know that we value the same things, I feel more related to Sarah. We meet up on the weekends to spend time together. I'm pretty busy working, so it's difficult to make time. But it's not a big deal if I can see her. We become closer every time we see each other. I can't end the week without seeing her smile now. Hey, sorry for the wait. 
It's okay. I came here a minute ago. Okay, let's go. Oh, show! Benko, what are you doing here? I just passed by. Sarah, so it was true that you're hanging out with them. <laughs> yeah. You two look great together. You know why? Because you're both introverted. Are you having dinner together? At a small rundown chain restaurant? It'll be such a great date for you losers. Oh, sorry for saying the truth. I can't help but say it all out loud. <laughs> That's not funny. Show, let's go. Yeah, see you. Hey, hey, I'm still talking. What do you want us to do? We're going to. Show, you're a bad man. You're seeing another girl. Huh? I saw you with another girl last Sunday. Uh, you mean... You were walking with such a pretty girl holding hands. Who would have thought our class was would be such a playboy? Don't get mad at me. I'm just saying the truth. She never listens. Hey, Benko. What? Speak up. Are you talking about this girl? Sarah! <laughs> that was you? Yeah, I make myself look plain at work so that people won't give me special treatment and guys won't hit on me. Sorry, I couldn't hold myself back because you crossed the line. This is really scary. I should never make her mad. Don't yell at me. Is it fun to conceal yourself, huh? Oh, oh Hiroto. What's going on? I can hear you guys from the other side of the town. Who's this beauty? You've never seen her being like this. She's Sarah. You met her at the party. Really? I didn't recognize you at all. So, what's going on? Actually... I see. Show? Yeah, go ahead. What? Stop whispering! I didn't tell you this at the party, but... Show works for Homeguru. He's an elite. Seriously? Then you should date me. You've become such a great guy. Now you deserve me. I suit you better than Sarah does. I refuse. Why? You're proud of yourself saying whatever you want, but you have the wrong idea. Being honest doesn't mean that you're allowed to hurt others. You insulted us again today. You're just classless and rude. You have no common sense. You should know that we can hurt people with words, and you're good at it. Um... I've only got eyes for Sarah. I'll never go out with a girl like you. Oh no! Banco leaves, her head low. Seems like she's shaken up. This can't be true! No one would ever reject me! I'm pretty! Incidentally, a little while later, I hear that she's now homeless. I don't know the details. But she made her boss so mad, she got fired! If you have some extra money, I hope you'll take her home. I guess I'll write a book. Homeless office worker. She was more eccentric than you told me before. Well, I'll go. I have plans. Show, I think she's the one for you. Tonight's the night. You know what to do, man. Hiroto. His words give me the last push. I inhale and summon my courage. Sarah, why don't we have a seat on that bench? Yeah. Now it's just the two of us. Yeah. What a day. Yeah. I'm glad I met you. I was afraid to show my true self to guys, but you're the first one who I can feel comfortable with. Sarah. You said you've only got eyes for me. It made me the happiest girl in the world. Ever since the party, I've been... I've been in love with you. You're sweet, and don't have to make yourself look better. I want to stay beside you from now on, too. I like you, Sarah. I'm really glad we feel the same way about each other. Yeah, me too. We can get to know each other better, and it'll be really exciting. I'm so happy.